You know what we're gonna do, chat? We're gonna do Am I the Asshole? Because I love doing that. They're so fun. Reddit, Am I the Asshole? Would I be the asshole if I rescinded my offer to pay for a friend's birthday dinner after they picked somewhere I can't eat? My friend Luke is turning 40 and I offered to pay for him and a group of our friends to have dinner anywhere Luke wanted. Luke won Luke knows I've been vegan since my 20s and I've never been an issue before. It's never been an issue before. When I asked where he made reservations, he said a local barbecue place that is famous here for having a menu that mocks people who don't eat meat. Like literally has a section that says vegetarian options. Don't let the door hit you on your way out. I asked what he expected me to eat and he got huffy and said, well, it's his birthday, so it shouldn't matter. I should eat before getting there and just order drinks while everyone else eats dinner and still enjoy everyone's company etc this sounds miserable to me i had zero expectations of luke picking somewhere vegan friendly hell i expected him to pick a steakhouse and i would have been fine with a salad and some sides i didn't expect him to choose somewhere that prides themselves on meat being in every single dish on the menu i want to tell him never mind and buy him a traditional birthday gift instead but feel like a massive asshole for taking back my offer i don't know what to do to be honest to add this is a group of nine so i'm also feeling about spending 300 plus dollars on a meal i can't eat the exact text i sent said this hey hey I want to take you and the friends fam out to dinner for your birthday. Make a reservation somewhere and let me know. I feel like this guy's an asshole. If you know your friend's vegan, I feel like you should always think about that when you're making reservations for birthday dinner. Luke's an asshole. Sorry, Luke. Luke, you're an asshole. Like, even if they weren't paying, this person should have still, like, put in mind, like, this person's vegan. We need to find a place that has at least one vegan option. You're an asshole. Wait, let's see the comments. Not the asshole. What the heck? I get that you offered and said he would pick anywhere he wanted. This is extremely generous of you. So generous in fact that he, you should have at least been considered when picking. Oh wait, okay, not, okay, good. I, I thought they were saying that Luke was not the asshole. Okay, whew. Even on people's birthdays, my friend group makes sure to pick restaurants that cater to everyone's dietary restrictions and allergies. So that's what you do when you care about your friends. Ag agreed, agreed. Luke is an asshole. Am I the asshole for canceling on my friend as soon as she showed up? My friend is chronically late and a flake. She blames it on ADHD, but I know it's because she doesn't give a fluff about being on time and because she always keeps her options open for a more appealing activity, even after making firm plans. She doesn't even apologize when she shows up late. The only apology anyone ever gets is when she's a complete no call slash no show. And even then it's half-hearted. I've been putting up with this because she really is great when she finally shows up, but my patience has been wearing thin. A couple weeks ago, she hosted a Valentine's Day brunch. It was also her birthday and picked a place that would 100% give your table away if you didn't arrive on time with your full party. Everyone else got there a little early to be safe, including her. I was honestly shocked. And when we all got seated, I let her know that I was gonna go ahead and cancel the upcoming dinner that we had planned since this was the last straw for me. She just showed everyone that she has per she was perfectly capable of being on time when it was her thing on the line. So I wasn't going to put up with her chronic lateness anymore. And I was happy to still have a casual hangout with her, but this would be the last time I was going to do anything with her that required showing up at a specific time. I said that in front of everyone in the words of the great Tim Robinson, nobody said, Nobody? Oh. She brushed it off, yelled at me after, but brushed it off in the moment, and we all had a nice brunch. And I guess our other friends felt the same way, because no one has plans, has planned any kind of lunch meetup or movie or anything with a specific start time with her since. And now today is when our planned dinner was gonna be, and she asked if we were still on it, for, on for it, and I said no. I felt like I was pretty clear before, we can hang out when you get off work, but I'm not waiting around for you anymore. She is irate and being an ableist towards her, it feels bad because she's clearly hurt. But I'm also tired of feeling hurt and embarrassed waiting for her to show up all the time. Okay, well, I feel like you didn't have to do it in front of everyone. I feel like my issue is that you just, you went off on her in front of everybody right before the brunch. Like you could have waited until after and be like, hey, I don't like that you're doing this. I'm not gonna do this anymore. And like had that, I feel like this is a little passive aggressive and I don't like that. I don't like that she's a flake and she's chronically late. I think that's, I think that's bad. But I also feel like them doing it in front of everybody is also bad. I feel like they're both in the wrong here. No, literally same stuff. my number one peppy was when I have to wait for people. I don't like it at all. I'm always, I'm always early. I'm always early. I always sit there and wait for people. What are they saying? You're, the asshole. You're not an asshole for what you did, not wanting to deal with the lack of punctuality. You're an asshole for how you did it. I agree. Publicly embarrassed her at her own birthday when she wasn't late. This was clearly more about you trying to make her feel as bad as possible in the most public way than it was working on your friendship and addressing a problem. Yep, I agree. I love when we all have the same thought process. Like, yes. Nothing wrong with being late. What if she got issues at home? Like, what if she got chronic hairiness and she needs time to wax it? Listen, Fortnite 801, do it early. Wake up early and do the get the chronic hairiness out of the way early. Am I the asshole for making my wife cry several times over work? Why are you making your wife cry? Sorry for poor English. I am not smart. <laughs> I 
cry. 27 male made, have made my wife, 27 female, cry constantly over her being will, willing unemployed for over four months she left her last job because it was in her terms making her stressed it was a three day a week 18 hour job she earned 600 dollars per week we have a joint home loan at 370k remain and our savings are sinking i told her i was in support of her leaving her job under the one condition that she had more work lined up even if it paid less she instead quit the week after i said it three months passed and she had no job still bills coming in constantly and i have taken off extra extra shifts to cope but in all of this the savings we have are dropping last month i started to tell her she needs to find work and she comes up with a different excuse each time i broke down the home loan repayments and explained how we can't afford them if she doesn't work and that we are unable to buy anything other than essentials and she needs to seems to understand after a week i asked if she had applied to any jobs and she said no i blew up yelled and told her she is being extremely unfair and i am working overtime and have little free time whereas she didn't even keep the home in order outside of doing dishes and laundry when i tell her to this repeats weekly today when i noticed she was a bit upset i asked what's wrong and she said she wanted me to she wanted me to spend time with her i have one day off a week and i said i could have more free time if you were working she said you don't care about my feelings you just want me to get a job and i yelled at her for letting me handle all financial responsibility again she argues that she applied for six jobs but they all asked for id checks and she wasn't bothered <coughs> what I am very angry. I have told her I am not her money pig and she can get work and she can get work or we are done. Am I the asshole? You're not the asshole. I feel like you were very, um, you, you broke it down for her and you told her very calmly, like, this is what needs to be done and you need to get a job. It's not this person's responsibility to take care of her. It's not fair for her to rely on him financially when she, the reason she quit is because it made her stressed. Jobs will be stressful. They will be. You still gotta work. So I think he's not the apple, she's the apple. You have to work over time and this is just for you. Yeah, you can't quit. And if she and if she is stressed, she has the option to quit. How is it fair? I agree. She's legally responsible for half of the home loan and half the bills. I'm assuming you don't have kids since you don't mention them. She quit her job because she was stressed but has no problems in increasing your stress. It sounds like she doesn't do housework unless you tell her to. She claims you don't care about her feelings, but she clearly doesn't respect you or care about your feelings. I don't know what her reasoning is. Um, but the marriage is over unless she makes some big changes. I agree. Would I be the asshole if I told my daughter's bio biological dad's wife? My daughter's. Okay, hold up, hold up. My daughter's. I had my daughter young, and she is now 12 years old. Her biological dad was around. For the first 1.5 years of her life, we split up when she was one. Our relationship was extremely toxic. He was abusive and started using heavy drugs. He ended up in jail. When my daughter was two, I met my now husband and he had been dad for her ever since. Biological dad was in and out of jail and still using for about eight years. He is now out of jail and has been clean for two years now. Super proud of him in that aspect. He married a woman older than his mom. Listen, not, nothing wrong with that, not judging. Happy you found love, but like older than your mom. Hope you're happy. I say whatever floats your boat, I'm genuinely happy for that. Me too. In the time between getting out of jail and getting married, biological dad reached out and wanted another chance to get to know his daughter. I welcomed that openly in agreement that it would be a very slow process. It's been about a year with contacts once a week. It has gone well, minus a few bumps in the road involving his wife. I had sent biological dad pictures of my daughter. Bio dad's wife also had access to the pictures in the group chat. She went to a job interview that I just so happened to know the interviewer. After the initial interview, they were chit chatting about life, kids, grandkids. Bio's dad's wife pulls out her phone, shows it to the interviewer and says, this is my stepdaughter. Mind you, this part is only about two months into bio dad getting to know daughter. I've met this lady one time and have only ever talked to her once over text in the group chat. I felt that that was inappropriate and said something nice to her. She threw a fit and pulled the woe is me card blaming her reaction on her past. We ended up taking talking it out. She apologized and all was well. Fast forward to today, she shared a post and in her caption wrote my stepdaughter insert whatever post. It really bothered me once again to my daughter. She is a complete stranger. When it comes to titles like that, I feel like they are earned. I don't feel like she's done anything to earn that. She has never met my daughter in person and has only ever said hi to her over the phone once or twice. I don't want to cause unnecessary drama, but I do want to be open with them and express my feelings just as I would expect them to do if there was something bothering them. I haven't said anything to her this time, but I kind of want to know what I'd be the asshole if I said something. You know, I'm not sure. I feel like I don't think you're an asshole for not wanting a random lady to call your daughter her stepdaughter, but like technically she is. Like technically, if, we, if we're thinking about it logically, like that child is this woman's stepdaughter for the fact that the girl, the woman is married to the dad of the girl. They don't have a relationship. So I feel like 
you like you don't have a relationship with her so why do you want to call her your stepdaughter so bad i i would understand if they had a relationship like that'd be fine but like you don't have one and you make a great point sharing a post of someone else's child is a little bit of a no-no i agree with that like i feel like this would all be different if they had a relationship but they don't like they've never met or anything like that and then she even told her she doesn't feel comfortable like she said she said uh I felt that that was inappropriate and said something nicely to her. So she came very respectfully and said, you know, I'm not okay with this. And then she threw the fit. Um, so I don't, I, I, I feel like she should stand her, her boundaries and her ground. And she should tell her like, hey, I'm not comfortable with this. Please stop. Soft, you're the asshole to get it out of the way. She did earn the title stepmother by marrying your ex. What would you rather her distan do, distance herself from your daughter, possibly hurt her feelings or acknowledge the relationship? Your daughter is, may not be close to her, as you've mentioned, but she's definitely no noticed if your ex's wife was colder to her. Well, that's the thing. This is, this is, they make, they make a great point. I wouldn't want the stepmother to act coldly towards the daughter i feel like i'd rather her be very welcoming and, and loving of, of the stepdaughter right like this this person makes a great point ask your daughter first the situation affects her more than i agree with this too i do agree with this i feel like it's it's in in theory it's up to the daughter if the daughter is comfortable with the with the woman calling her stepdaughter then it shouldn't be an issue am i the asshole for not repeatedly telling my girlfriend when the oven was beeping what the heck my girlfriend was cooking banana bread tonight. She sets the timer on the oven and asks me to tell her when it beeps while she goes back to the bedroom. I call her when it does. She puts it in a bit longer though and puts another tray in and asks me to call her again. This happens several times. Eventually I ask her why she can't just set a timer on her phone, which I normally do when cooking, so this doesn't have to be a two-man job. She tells me no, just keeps telling her when it beeps. I go off into the study and hear it beeping again a bit later, but don't say anything. She comes out a few minutes later and throws a full on tantrum. She tries to grab off a plate of banana bread I'm already eating. After physically fending her off, I tell her she's being ridiculous and finish it. I go back to the kitchen and she's thrown the remainder of the tray, which she just spent like an hour cooking in the sink, running it out of spite and now making... Okay, I think you're an asshole for hearing it and not telling her, but I also think that she's an asshole for doing this. I feel like if you hear it beeping just out of courtesy of your of your girlfriend telling you to, to tell her, you should tell her because you heard it. Like, don't be an asshole and be like, I'm not going to tell you. Like, you heard it. Just say something. Um, but like, don't do this. Like, what's with the anger issues? This is weird. Why would you... You just spent an hour cooking this banana bread, and now you ruined it out of spite. You could have just eaten it and had a good night. What? Sounds like you're both too young for a relationship. <laughs> Stop! It's weird controlling behavior on her part, and the way she's willing to get physical is a huge red flag. Your response was childish on its own right breakup. Do you even like each other? Literally, like, do y'all even like each other? It feels like there's so much tension and stuff that does not need to be there. If it's something that happens repeatedly and he's, if he's mentioned to her, like, hey, I don't want to be your human stopwatch or whatever the heck. And she said, if, and she's agreed to it, but then she keeps doing it, then then yes, she's the asshole. But I feel like in this situation from what we've read, then I don't, I don't like it, either of them. Am I the asshole for trying to get my son into an event that he's not invited to? My husband's cousin, Amelia, is getting married and is having a bridal shower in a few weeks. I was the only one in my household invited, so I assumed there were no kids invited, which is pretty standard. However, uh, through a few family members, I came to find out that the girls in the family were invited, but but not the boys. Fine, I've heard of that before. However, my two sons, nine and seven, heard that their girl cousins were invited, and my seven-year-old felt very left out. My nine-year-old Jake doesn't care and doesn't want to go anyway, but my seven-year-old Andrew was upset. He cried and asked if he could go. I reached out to my husband's Aunt Liz, who was hosting the shower, to see if an exception could be made for Andrew. She was nice about it but said that the reason he, they hadn't invited boys was because of venue limitations and also the theme diamonds are girls best friends is very feminine she said amelia adores my boys but many of her friends have sons and they just can't accommodate them all she was apologetic and i ended the conversation because it was awkward however andrew is still upset and i'm thinking of reaching out to lizzie to see if an exception can be made i feel like you need to let it go i'm so sorry i feel like they were very kind about it they told you no and they told you exactly why and it's like they have the right to do that for their own like event um if they've already told you no your son's gonna your son's gonna be upset and then he's gonna get over it pretty quickly i think you should let it go stop insisting the first time was a polite conversation but the second request is likely to be frowned upon yeah like if someone says no and you continue to keep asking that's not okay this is a teachable moment for your son that he doesn't get to go everywhere he wants and he doesn't get invited everywhere. I agree. This is a girl's only event. He doesn't belong there. You have an absolute uh, ton of nerve to not take you no for an answer and harassing these people for an invite. Why, why aren't you doing your job in parenting instead of... This guy's really angry. Why is he so angry? I feel like this guy's the... <laughs> <laughs> Am I the asshole 
for shouting at my daughter for getting her twin drunk. I'm a male 43, a single dad of two twin daughters, 18, Jess and Amy, not their real names. Their mom hasn't been in their lives since they were about six and as a result we're a close family and the girls have an extremely tight bond uh, they couldn't be any different as people though jess is a big extrovert she loves to party and is out every weekend has a boyfriend and has a big circle of friends amy on the other hand is introverted shy and spends most of her time studying or reading they still remain really close and i hope that jess brings amy out to her shell more and amy encourages jess to study more with them than she currently does last weekend jess had been invited to a party with a group of girls of friends amy hadn't been and i suggested to just letting amy come as well i thought it would be a good it would be good for her to socialize after working hard throughout the week just mentioned it to amy and when amy asked me i told her she should go they both got ready that evening just picked out amy's outfit and it was great to see some sisterly bonding uh at around 2 a.m i hear big thud downstairs which woke me up jess was carrying amy who was clearly very very drunk when i asked what happened jess told me that amy had gotten carried away drinking and that she's not used to alcohol at all it, it had a bad effect on her jess told me amy was talking to everyone flirting with boys took her top off to expose her bra drinking shots and essentially nothing like her sister jess took her away at 2 a.m to come home while Amy was vomiting in the toilet, I got annoyed at Jess for allowing her to get in that state as she knows Amy doesn't drink and Jess has a responsibility to look out for her when she's on her own. Jess said Amy's an adult and she can do what she likes, which got me extremely irate and I shouldn't have just as I knew Amy would not have been in that state if Jess wasn't encouraging her to drink such pretty. Amy had been extremely embarrassed as well as hungover since she had said she'd never planned to socialize with Jess or at school again. I've told Jess I'm disappointed in her for allowing this, which she said is completely unfair. Now she's being distant with both me and Amy. Part of me feels this is justified as I know Jess would have had an influence on amy while the other part of the me does know she's an adult and so she, so she i feel like you're wrong at the you're you're mad at the wrong person um J amy's the one that got like belligerently drunk and she's an adult she can make her own decisions and and whatever just should have like you know look out for her sister you know and not let her get that drunk but i feel like you can only do so much if someone wants to drink they're gonna drink like i i think that the anger is a little misplaced yeah literally you're being ridiculous exactly just said what a good friend does she got her home it is completely unreasonable for you to be mad at just for amy's drinking i agree 100 percent like what how are you blaming jess for amy's drinking classic yeah classic introvert behavior <laughs> am i the asshole i bought a non-traditional toy for my niece so my niece had this lamp toy that she loved i should also mention that she is really rough on toys and long story short, this poor little fluff ball has gone to stuff animal heaven. Poor little lamp. Well, my niece was heartbroken and my sister was telling me how down she had been. So I thought it would I would get her another one. All of the stuffed lambs that I looked at were just as fragile as before. But when I was getting some treats for my pooch i was struck by the sight of a lamb chop dog toy and had a brilliant idea <laughs> i mean think about it the lamb the lamb chop toy is made to be chewed on and clawed on so it should be able to handle the abuse from a toddler so i bought it and on saturday i was watching my niece for my my sister and brother-in-law i gave my niece the toy and she loved it she really liked the squeaker too so saturday rolls around and niece is having a blast with Lammy 2.0 and my sister and brother-in-law walk in the door. Of course, my niece runs up to her parents and shows them her new toy. They ooh and ah over it until my niece squeezes the squeaker and my sister completely loses her crap. She screams, you bought my baby a dog toy and tells me I should probably head... What? What? The aftermath is that my sister sent me a bunch of texts which basically consists of you bought her a dog toy with some choice thrown in for good measure our mom asked what what the hell was i thinking our stepfather had stepbrother thought it was funny as hell is extremely is quietly amused but is keeping his head down my sister took the lamb chop away and my niece had a belt on until she gave it back now i'm getting the double eye stink eye from her why why does it matter wait what why why is that a big deal why wait hold up hold up hold, it's a toy who cares if it's for a dog your 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 child likes it i would find it so funny if my child was playing with a dog toy like hell yeah i'll buy you four more they're cheaper what's the big deal what's the issue it's not like it'll do her harm it might drive her parents crazy with the sweet and definitely a thinking outside the box situation to please a play teller no for real toys are toys what is the issue people are so odd what is wrong with people? There's so many issues in this world. Don't you worry about your kid playing with a dog toy. Uh, 
<clears throat> am I the asshole for not letting my struggling friend move into my into the empty second bedroom of my new apartment? New here, after years of working and saving, I, 27 female, finally have enough to rent a two bedroom apartment in the city. After moving out of home, I had always lived with housemates, but now I finally get to live by myself for the first time, which I'm really excited about. I have a friend, 27 male, who I've known for years. I only moved in last week and he came over to hang out and see the place. He saw the empty spare bedroom and asked what I was going to do with it. I said, I don't know, maybe extra storage, guest bedroom, study room, who knows. For context, my friend has been living in a share in a share house for two years now and has been vocal about not liking it. Nothing truly bad, but he just doesn't really know the other people he's living with. It's an older building with a lot of issues and he says he doesn't like it. Fast forward to a week later and he comes to me and says, hey, I've spoken to a few of other friends and they all said you're being really selfish here. Huh? I had no idea what he was talking about. He said that because I didn't offer him my second bedroom to move into. I was being selfish. And because I know about his current living situation, I should have offered because it would have be of help to him. What is, what is, why do they owe you anything? Why does she owe you something? Reasons why are that I am so excited to finally live on my own and have a place to myself. He and I were almost going to live together years ago, but we had such a big fight over the littlest things that I vowed to never live with him ever, but continue being his friend, of course, now because all of his friends and some of our mutual ones are telling me I'm selfish if for me not giving him the bedroom, I'm torn. He said he is willing to pay rent and half share on bills, but I just really want a place to myself. Am I? Oh, no. No, you're not. You do not owe anybody anything if you're able to afford your own place and you want your own place you will have your own place you don't owe anyone anything thank you for all your responses i was really really helped me put things into perspective and i'm deciding i'll at least have a chat with my friend but i'm thinking since this isn't the first time he's acted similarly it might be best to end it i agree you don't need that friend hey i've spoken to a few other people and they're all saying you're being really selfish here like what if someone if somebody came to me and the first thing out of their mouth was, hey, I've spoken to a few other friends and they've all said you're being really selfish here. If that's the first words out of their mouth, I literally be like, leave. Get out of my house. I'm not your friend anymore. I, I do not care. If you're going to other people before coming to me first about anything involving me, no, no. Literally, like if you want to live with me, ask me, hey, can I live in there in, in your second bedroom? I'll do this, this and this. Why are you going to other people first? He's willing to pay rent. How generous of him. <laughs> Am I the asshole for punishing my stepdaughter for eating my daughter's snacks? I have a 14 year old daughter who has really bad periods. She also gets extremely hungry when she's on her period and wants to eat a lot of sweet snacks. But because of this, we have a period stash just for her. Well, yesterday she was on her period and she went to get one of her candy bars that started screaming that someone ate her chocolates. Turns out it was my stepdaughter. I told her she has to replace what she ate. She ate $20 worth of chocolate and she said she can't. So I told her that she's not getting any pocket money next month. She started screaming that it's not fair and I'm an asshole. Just buy her chocolate. Just buy both of them chocolate. Understandable there's a period stash just for this daughter, but I feel like you're kind of putting her on a pedestal and, and you're kind of not being fair to her. Just get her chocolate. Cinder, what is this Cinderella dementia? It's like a stop! <laughs> Thank you.